Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we got a good item at the very end when I had already ended the episode. It is the Lamp Squid, a squid that has evolved a lamp as part of its body, just a couple or enough to light the sea at night. Size 36, level 3, worth 466. This is the uh, spring fish that you can get in the Olvarna Pond. And I'm very happy we managed it towards the end of spring. Um, yeah. Boop. And a broken hearted. Boop, 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 boop. So, on the last day of the month, I'll harvest everything here. I was mostly using it either like the strawberries as a renewable source of income or the rest of it as, uh, you know, gifts slash energy, but I guess it'll all turn into money or gifts at the very end of this. Some of it I'll of course keep because I'll need it for later, but for now. Let's get some grass. We actually went outside and touched grass. Wild. We're up to eight and nine with all of them, which means we're about to be at nine or ten with all of them. Sylvie should be at 10 now, which means Sylvie is all-powerful once again. There we go. We have the beefy boy! What's wrong, Sylvie? Nothing. Nothing is ever wrong with Sylvie. Because Sylvie is currently sitting at 190 HP. Yeah. Let's go. You're right here, which is convenient for me. Because I don't have the thing I want. Oops. Um, let's see about getting one of those. I forgot I sold it yesterday. And I got one immediately. Truly wild. Sylvie, you mind taking care of them for me? And an emerald. And an iron. To adventure! Oh, and the other thing we did yesterday was eat a bunch of food. Nondescript food, mind you, but still food. And got first place. In a competition. I probably should have focused on that, but I was just really happy about that lamp squid. I'm running around at the speed of sound. No place to go, got to follow my rainbow. Oh, the hot hot fruit is done. As well as the daikon radish. Really thought that was something besides, or maybe that's regular red. I don't know which one that is. So, am I not doing white crystal seeds? Is that an issue? Um, okay, there we go. Shoulder piece, which, you know, I already have a bunch of, but sure. Stockpiles. Ah, a piece of gold, worth being hit by a wolf. And a water crystal, worth murdering a wolf. Silver ore. Iron ore. Oh. Milk. Neat. Um... We have a lot of good quests to do. For now, I still have to go to Blessia Island anyway for watering my stuff. I'll get my 40 of Clover and then we'll actually start doing the quest for the day. Oh, hey Barrett. Morning. You've really gotten settled in here, haven't you, Kyle? Yes, yes I have. Morning. Don't you have anything to do? Don't you have something else you should be doing besides talking to me? Oh, uh, I just thought I'd say hi. Get back to your work, then. 
Come on, Barrett, be friendly with me. I love you. Good morning. Good morning. You heard the story about a ghost walking in front of the clinic lately. I wonder who goes around spreading that stuff. Honestly, probably your sister. This is very nice. Yes! I don't like the dark, so I can't sleep at night without the lights on. Oh. I know somebody like you. Good morning. Is farming fun, Kyle? Actually, kind of. I... I'm not sure if I've said this, but I grew up on a farm. It was more of like an animal farm than a like crop farm, but I've actually spent a good amount of time taking care of plants and things because of different situations. And um, I'd say it's fun, so long as it's not too much on one person. It sucks being saddled with a lot of work that is that you're not going to see any benefit from, but you know, getting to taste your own food or see the joy on other people's faces, that can be fun as well. Good morning. Say, Kyle, I was wondering, what what do you think of me? Um, well, sorry, I know that's a weird thing to ask someone. Yeah, weird. Weird. Thank you. Morning. Ah, uh, good morning. Do you pay attention to how you dress? Me, well, you see. I always keep my wardrobe fully stocked with the appropriate attire for any time, place, and occasion. I'm always so busy I need my clothing to be prepared ahead of time. That's fair. You're rich. Oh, good morning, Kyle. Compared to Rosalind and Celia, I don't take much interest in fashion, but judging from the way you look, you're in the same camp with me, am I right? Ouch. Good morning. Good morning. Ending for the end, I get to talk to all kinds of people from around the world. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Morning. Ah, oh, good morning, Kyle! There's one thing that can be said for absolutely everyone! They have a birthday! You may not be able to remember it, but you have a birthday too! A birthday also offers you a good chance to look back over your life and consider where you're headed. While we're on the subject, my birthday's the 15th of fall! Don't you think it's interesting? People and their birthdays? I like this! Give it to me or else! Morning. <laughs> Sorry, that's how I always feel whenever somebody is like going way into a birthday. <laughs> Hi Cow, do you remember when my birthday is? Um, well, I kind of forgot. Huh? Then how can you... Then how can you celebrate it with me? It's the 15th of summer, don't forget! Oh, morning. I'm collecting panther claw at the moment. If you get your hands on some, please give them to me, Kyle. No. Yay! I love Aha! Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. If you see anything out of odd or out of the place in town, please let me know right away, Kyle. This is an official request as mayor. Hey, Alicia. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Alicia. You know that Max over at Herman's place? I wonder if he likes anyone right now. I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. Interesting, I wonder why she's wondering. Well, weather reading! Sim, salabim. Sim, 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 salabim. I can see it tomorrow will be sunny. That's 10G, thank you for your business. Come again soon. Oh, nice. Fire crystal. And more quality cloth. Hopefully it's the same quality of this, the stuff I have at home. If I'm lucky, that is. How did I dodge that? Haha, <laughs> more ruby. Well, I got another fire crystal, so that's good. Two fire crystal and two rubies. Awesome. Also, while I'm here. Also, also. I wonder what this is. Weird. <laughs> Don't you ever give it a rest. That bullhorn will be useful to practice on. Feel free to bring me as many as you want. That bullhorn? I mean, sure, okay. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. I don't like tomato. It's hard to cut through. Uh, I mean, it's kind of squishy and that might be why, but like, 
A sharp blade should be able to slice it right up. What are you talking about? Like a good a good tomato is yeah, it's just satisfying to cut. Um she's not here. I wonder where she is. Oh well. Rosalind Where is she? She's probably at the chapel, right? Right around noon, she's either at the chapel or on her way back from the chapel. I think. Yeah, there she is. I'm thoroughly pleased. Hello. Good afternoon. Looks like you're going to be able to hire some very nutritious food. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Kyle. Don't tell anyone else, but lately I've actually, um... Hmm? What is the secret? I've been taking longer baths lately for an hour or two. <laughs> uh, that's nothing to hide. Just don't stay in so long you pass out. It's all for beauty, you know. I just can't skip on that. Eh, she really cares about her looks a lot. And I get it, but also I don't. Like, she's... <sighs> I, I don't understand people who are naturally fairly attractive who just go, oh, I need a... I need this kind of thing and it it ties into a lot of insecurity and in how other people treat people like people shouldn't care it shouldn't make people treat people differently sure like when you're picking out a partner or whatever that sounds bad <laughs> you know what I mean though like I'm not wording this correctly when you find somebody who you really care about emotionally you want to be like as attracted to them as you can be but, like, with your friend group, it's kind of weird to pick friends based off of that. I've never, like, I don't, I, I just don't get that. Just have, it's all about vibe. It's not about any of that. Um. Let's do something about the future. I just realized, do something about the future makes it sound like we're going to stop something from happening. Just destroy the future. Hello, Kyle. You see, I want to become a nurse. I know that. I think wanting to become a nurse is a wonderful goal. There's no need to be so embarrassed. She's turned bright red. Oh no, I need to make her more comfortable. So, working as a nurse is actually pretty tough, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, so... There's something I'd like to ask you, Kyle. Just hold on a minute, okay? Dorothy, stop. Let's talk without Fern, okay? Huh? Uh, well, I'm not sure. You want to take the nursing exam, don't you, Dorothy? That's right. And the written part is no problem, but... But? The interview. Ah, uh, the interview. I can see how that might be a problem. That's right. So I was hoping you might be able to help me practice a little. You know, to get me ready? Yeah, no problem, Dorothy. Thanks. Okay, I'll be the interviewer. Let's practice. Hello, Dorothy. First... <clears throat> I'm... Let's start with your self-analysis. Huh? Uh... uh... A little hard for the first question, I guess. Let's just carry on. Next. What don't you like? Uh, well... A little hard for you to answer? Let's just carry on. Well then... What's... Th um... I don't know which one of these is the wrong answer. <laughs> Will you lend me that doll for a moment? I'm s I'm sorry. I can't do that. Wrong name, but it's fine. Please forget that. So, uh... What's the best way to maintain beauty? I don't know. I guess I'm really related to being a nurse. Just forget that one, okay? Finally! Do you have lots of friends? That was a nasty question. Don't worry about that then. Uh, that's all for the interview. Well done. My confidence has 
totally gone. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't really ask good questions, did I? Yeah, we're not actually gonna go with that, but that's if you wanted to be the worst person in the world. <laughs> uh. Let's start with an introduction. Okay. Okay. My name is Dorothy. That was easy. Let's keep going. Okay. Next. What do you like? I like... Cymbidium orchids. They're also called bort... Uh, boat orchids. And their name comes from kumbos, meaning hole or cavity. Wow, you know a lot about flowers. Ah, uh, well, I do like flowers. That was good. Well done. Well then... What's the name of your doll? Fern. That's her name. Did you choose her name, Dorothy? Ah, uh, yes, I did. That's quite a rare name, and a good one, I think. Oh, thank you. So? What's the best way to maintain health? Wake up early and go to bed early. Ah, so that's the secret to good health. That's right. Don't work too late yourself, Kyle. I'll be careful not to. Finally, do you have a very close friend? Yes, someone called Kyle. <laughs> Thank you, I'm very happy to hear that. She's clammed up again. Well, she did pretty well without Fern. That's all for the interview, well done. Thank you, I think I found some confidence. Great, now you'll be able to ace the interview too. Well, I hope so. If you keep on talking to people, you'll keep getting more and more confident too. Okay. Well? Well, I knew I could count on you, Kyle. Thank you very much. I'm just happy to be able to help you out, Dorothy. She's finally found some confidence. Great. I think I found a bit of confidence. You're so reliable, Kyle. And Dorothy gained confidence! Do 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 do. But why Dorothy? <laughs> uh. We have fun here. Or at least I do. Everyone else kind of gets, you know, messed up by me, but it's fine. It's all about timelines and whatnot. Um... Let's hang out with Rosalind. The last time I saw her, she was at the church, so probably around there. You look in good spirits, Kyle. I've been waiting for you. I've been thinking that I'd like to share all the new recipes that I've been creating with someone. Okay. It looks like I'm the only person she has to share them with. So, on that note, if it's okay with you to repay all the favors you've done me, I'd be honored if you allowed me to cook for you. I'll prepare every recipe I've invented. For me? Of course, if this doesn't appeal to you, you can say no. But still, if you can, I'd really like to, you to taste my food, Kyle. Oh, what am I saying? It's not like me to be so... so pushy. Rosalind, I'm not very... it's not very often that I have the chance to sample your food. How could I pass up an opportunity like this? You say food, Kyle says where. <laughs> I'll absolutely let you cook for me. Really? Thanks. Yay, thank you. How about we have the meal at Varna North Square? Everything tastes better when you eat outside, doesn't it? Outside? Sounds great. Okay, I'll start making preparations. Why don't you head to the Varna North Square a little bit ahead of me, okay? My food-loving father gave this food a seal of approval, so you better be thrilled. Let's do it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. How the- what? I forgot to do this sound. This music. Kyle, come over here! I made us a picnic, please eat up! And I hope you Wei doesn't mind leaving! What? What? This looks delicious! Let's get started! Much, much, much. How does it taste? The taste of this is exquisite. And it smells wonderful. It really wraps around your tongue, but it's subtle, too. This is a really amazing dish. Sounds like you like it. That's good. 
All the testing I did with my father was worth it. Yummy, yummy. Uh, Kyle, you've got some rice on your cheek. Here, I'll get it for you. Uh, okay, got it. Calm down, please. Savor the food. Munch, munch, gulp, gulp, munch, munch. Oh, I'm full. That was quite a feast. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope I'll get another opportunity to cook for you sometime. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank you. Ah, uh, look at the time. I've got to get home. It was quite very nice spending time together with today. Thank you for helping me with such an, make such a nice memory. Thank you for the feast. Tomorrow, I'll be back to working for you again. <laughs> And no monetary reward. I believe from this point on in Rosalind's questline, you'll no longer get money from her. Which is fine, we're not hurting on money. But if you were like, oh, Rosalind's gonna be my cash cow forever. That's not the case. Why are you using people like that? That's pretty terrible. UA's original goods. I'm thinking of making something totally original that will really help me stand out. Wanna help me out? Let's do it. Yue! I want to talk to you. Did you want something, Yue? I've been waiting, Kyle. I just realized I haven't been selling anything with any, with any sort of originality. You know, besides pictures of your and uh, Rosalind's date earlier. Shows me a camera. Shows me Instagram where she has been selling photos somehow. How you sell photos on Instagram? I don't know. She managed it. UA is a genius. <laughs> I think I'd have better luck selling things if I had some original goods for sale. Yeah, it would be nice if you had a signature item. I know, wouldn't it? So I was thinking about making something all my own. But it has to be special. If I make an original item, it will have to be the face of my business. And it's no good if it doesn't fit in with the rest of your store, right? And I've been thinking about what sells, sets my business apart from the rest. And then I thought about how much I love wearing my kimono. I think I'm getting the picture. So, Kyle, I'm gonna make my own original kimono. That's a good idea. Really? You think so too, Kyle? There are special dyes I need in order to make the right color. I don't want to use anything artificial. If I use natural dyes, it'll really show my kimono's color and feel. The one I'm wearing right now uses natural dyes, too. You're picky about your kimono, aren't you? Sure am. I want you to bring me several different kinds of grasses. All I knew is, need to do is bring you a bunch of grass? Yep. First, since I'm just starting out, I need red, blue, yellow... Red, blue, and yellow. Can you start with those? I wonder why red, blue, and yellow? The, the, the basic colors? Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm sure you can find them on Blessia Island. Alright, just leave it to me. I knew you'd do it, Kyle. Good luck, Kyle. I need you to make I need them to make my own original kimono. Oh. This quest apparently does put them in random spots. Cool. I was not positive. Okay. Yellow is just right up in the same spot as the four leaf clover. So we have red, blue, and yellow now. I need red, blue, and yellow. Yellow? You have brought the grass you wanted. Yellow grass, thanks Kyle. I still need a blue and a yellow. What? To your best, Kyle. That's wrong. You have brought the grass you wanted. A blue grass, thanks Kyle. I still need a blue grass, okay? <laughs> this game is so broken! <laughs> That's everything you asked for, right? Yep, great job. I'd expect no less from you, Kyle. Great. There's more. Th That's more than enough. Now I can dye the p fabric perfectly. Great. Good luck with your new kimono. Thank you, Kyle. I'll certainly do my best. You really helped me out. Earned 500 G. Uh, I could have bought these for less than... Th okay, it's fine. If I need help again, I'll know where to turn to, Kyle. It was no problem. Oh. I think it's time for me to start working on my original kimono. 
Aww. Way to make me smile. Thank you. Alright. You made it, Kyle. I've got more Super Kyle training for you today. Okay, so today we'll be refining your sensibilities with table manners. I'm going to ask you some questions about table manners, and I want you to answer them the best as you can. Okay, give it your best shot. Questions about etiquette will be displayed on the bottom screen. You will then be given several possible answers. Choose the correct one. Okay, let's go. Question 1. What is the proper way to use a napkin? Make it into a pirate hat. Wrong! Question 2. What is the proper way to eat soup? Slurp it in one loud big gulp. Wrong! Question 3. Uh, what is the proper way to hold a fork and knife? Uh... I... Wait. Isn't this based on whether you're right-handed or left-handed? Isn't it? Am I wrong? I... I'll be real with you, I don't know which one's the correct one based on if you're right-handed, which I'm assuming what they're going off of. Wrong. Okay, it is what I thought it was then. Question four. What is the proper way to eat bread? Uh, stuff it in your mouth. Like a frickin' monster. Question five. What is the first thing you do when tasting wine? Shine a light on it to check the color. Okay, that was correct. Dang it. Finished. And now for the results. The number of questions you answered correctly was... Ba -da -da -bum. One questions out of five. That was terrible. The road to becoming Super Kyle is pretty tough. Yeah. So the correct answers are obviously fold it in half and put it on your lap. To eat it a little bit at a time with a spoon. So you want to hold the knife in your right hand, the fork in the left. You hold down the food with the fork, then you cut with the knife, and then you use it to eat. But the problem is that I do it reversed. At one point I broke my arm and I couldn't use my right hand at all. So I would have... It's an entire thing, it doesn't really matter. But now I use my left hand for a lot of things like that. It, it's, yeah. It's why this question doesn't seem correct to me. Because I do that a lot of things like that left-handed, which, Alex, if you're watching this, I think you get that. <laughs> Correct way to eat bread. Break into bite-sized pieces. First thing you do when... Yeah, shine a light on it, check the color. Now the results. The number of questions you answered correctly was... Ba -da -ba -boom. Five questions out of five. Good job. <coughs> you, <coughs> you've gotten one step closer to becoming Super Kyle. You worked hard, so here's a little reward. Corn seed. You looking a lot more capable than you did when we first started. You've really worked hard this year. I'll keep making you into a really handsome gentleman, okay? Aw, thank you. I need it. I'm dumb. Oh. Kami has her final request for us. Or at least I'm pretty sure this is the final. Also, normally you can only do one request from a person a day, and yet Camus over here like, nah, I got this. Hey Cammy, I wonder what training you've got in store for me today. Hi Kyle, I was waiting for you. Today's the last phase of the Super Kyle training plan, so today's training is going to test you on everything you've learned. For today, I want you to go and find a, a wolf fang. This is the last test to see whether or not you've really become Super Kyle. You can do it, right Kyle? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so make sure to give this one all you've got. Uh, back home we go, because I have a stockpile. Yes, I have enough. Go get a wolf thing. You can get it from a silver wolf. This is the last phase of the Super Kyle training program. Plan. Whatever it is. Kyle, you brought it. Well, that completes my Build a Gentleman plan. Mission complete. Kyle, you did a great job. From now on, you shall be called Kyle the Perfect Gentleman, okay? Okay, this is the final prize for you. Please accept it. You got the Charm Blue Seed. 
Thank you, Cammy. <laughs> you've really worked hard this year, but you've still got a long way ahead of you. One ahead of you. Wh whatever it was. Yeah, that thing. Another quest down. And we made somebody think better of us, so awesome. Ah, huh. wow. Hey, Julia, what's up? I wonder why I uh, waited to do this quest until right now. <laughs> hey, 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 no, 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 no going anywhere with Max. How dare you? Julia, I saw the bulletin board. What's up? You said you were having some trouble. Ah, uh, Kyle, I was waiting for you. Okay, so the mayor asked me to do a favor and look for something he dropped, and I was thinking maybe you could help me out? I was just hanging around the mayor, and he asked me to do him a favor. And it looked like he was having a really hard time, and I just couldn't say no, so I told him okay. But honestly, I'm kind of busy over here right now, <clears throat> Max, uh, and so I can't really help him out myself. Which is why I was thinking that maybe you could help me? <laughs> help you? It sounds suspiciously like you're just asking me to do it for you. Huh, maybe you're right, but either way, you look free, so you'll do it, right? Sure, why not? Yeah, you're the best, Kyle. You're always helping me out. So, what exactly is he looking for? Well, he's looking for his sun pendant. It looks like he lost it at the harbor. The harbor is a pretty big place, and it might not be easy to find. Uh, this is such a tragedy. Such a tragedy? Sounds like you're taking this pretty personally, Julia. I think you maybe you're letting yourself get a little too caught up in it. <laughs> maybe. Well, if you f do find it, could you bring it to me? I mean, after all, he did ask me bring it to you so you can get all the credit for finding it? Well, yeah, what's so wrong with that? I'm obviously going to give you something for it, so what's the big deal? Mm, Alright, I get it. So I should look for Byron's sun pendant at the harbor and then bring it to you? You got it. Good luck, Kyle. Even though you're going to the harbor. And, um... Yeah. <laughs> The Sun Pendant, a pendant shaped like the sun. Just looking at it will brighten your day. It gives two defense, and if you were to equip it, it would give you four more defense than the leather boots, four magic attack, two magic defense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not joking when I say... Uh, I just wish... I just... I just really wish, because it gives four vitality and four intelligence, and I just wish. Oh, you found Mayor, Mayor Byron's sun pendant? I think so. Looks like it to me. Great, Kyle. Thank you so much. I'll take care of delivering this to the mayor, which means you can take all the credit for it. Thank you so much, Kyle. You've really helped me out. Here's your reward. You got pickles. They're healthy and delicious. See you later. It's my responsibility, so I'll be sure to hand it over. Thanks. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, Kyle. Well, I spilled my soup at lunch and it made a stain on my shirt collar. As you can see, it looks pretty sloppy. But for some strange reason, I don't care much about these things. Rosalind seems to be fed up with me. Rosalind may be fed up with you. But I'll never be fed up with you. I... <sighs> I'm gonna have to wait for him to finish walking. All right. I can't give it to you when you're inside of her. Wait. <laughs> this must be proof of warrior, is it for me? Really? Thanks. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. Shush. Another quest down. Roy's our boy. Where did he go? What? Thank you. Okay, I was worried. <laughs> Kyle, just the guy I wanted to see. What did you break this time, Roy? <laughs> you haven't even given me a chance to speak. You carry around a good luck charm or anything, Kyle? Mom was telling me about them. So if you have a good luck charm with you, it'll protect you when you're in trouble. If I had an emerald, I could make one, no problem. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind looking for one for me. A good luck charm? That doesn't seem like you, Roy. Well, can't a guy do something nice every now and then? If you bring me the goods, I will make one for you, Kyle. So go find an emerald for me, will you? You can find them in Trieste Forest. Alright, I'll be right back. 
You should be able to find the emerald by smashing rocks over at Trieste Forest. Thanks, buddy. Hey, you found an emerald? Boy, am I glad I asked you. I'll make you a good luck charm. I'll just put this in there. Ta-da! There we go, Kyle. Charm. You got charm. Thanks, Roy. <laughs> I owe to you. If you ever need anything, you just let me know, okay? <laughs> See, I'm not all trouble, am I? Aw, that was, that was kind. And now we got a charm. A charm to protect you from misfortune and disasters. Don't leave home without it. Four defense and body up. So, by equipping this, we get four defense, four magic defense, and two vitality. So, we just... Yeah. It's just better. It, we don't have the backstep ability, but I don't know that I've ever used the backstep ability. Let's see. Just a second. I need to look up how to do the backstep ability. I don't remember... Oh, I figured out how the backstep ability works. Is that it? Is that... I didn't realize that was the backstep ability. Huh. Wild. I do not care. <laughs> uh, I don't run away like a coward. And now, this is what it looks like when I'm trying to do the backstep ability. It just, you know, makes me move like a normal human. Or not even like a normal human, just like... How you would expect me to be able to move. Whatever. I want a ruby no matter what happens. Come talk to me. There's something I really want. Do I have one on me? I do not have a ruby on me, so I guess I'll go grab one. Hey, you've come at the perfect time, Kyle. I have a request I wanted to make. What do you need? I'd like it if you could go get me a ruby. kimmy has got one and she keeps rubbing it in my face. I'm gonna get one for myself and give her a taste of her own medicine. So you think you can find a ruby for me? All right, I'll go get one. Awesome, I'll be waiting for you. You can find a ruby at Blessy Island. I want it so bad. Yeah? Yeah, you want this? You want this freaking rubbed in your face? <laughs> Got him. Alright, a ruby. Wait till Cammy sees this. This will show her. I knew I could count on you, Kyle. Here, take this. It's the least I can do. Yam seed. Thanks, Roy. <laughs> You're always helping me out. This will show that Cammy. What do you have to say about that? I'm a very fast runner, even you can't beat me, huh, Kyle? <laughs> I don't know why I tried to read that as fast as possible and kind of messed it up. All the way at the end. You've got guts to come back to me, human. I'm here about your request from the bulletin board. What, you can't come talk to me unless you've got some agenda? Just like a human. <laughs> That's not it at all. Anyway, what do you need? I thought I'd give you a chance to prove yourself. A chance to prove myself? That's what I just said, isn't it? Now keep your mouth shut and listen. I'll have to bronze bracelet somewhere in Trieste Forest. Find it, bring it back to me. It's a test to see if you're really as weak as you look. You went all the way there to leave that just as a test? Yes, do you have a problem with that? No, I guess not. Good, hurry up then. If you don't bring it back, that means you're spineless after all. <laughs> uh, I'll bring it back. Oh, I'll bring it back, all right. Running around at the speed of sound. No place to go, got to fall on my rainbow. But, 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 but. I apparently have already pet them. It has been almost an hour, so I'd forgotten. He left it somewhere in Trieste Forest and he made it sound like it was a big deal. So my guess would be that it's all the way back here. Yep, I'd be correct. Now, bronze bracelet. A bronze bracelet raises defense a little, quite heavy. I mean, it's a little bit better on attack, but it lowers our defense. It's not really good. <laughs> if we had accepted this quest earlier, we could have kept it for a bit if we wanted to, and it would have been good for training. 
It's not good now. We have the Hachimaki and our charm and we're just, we're set. If we wanted to do a bunch of grinding, we could do it while well, only taking one damage at a time. Back to the barn! Hello, half-elf. You brought it back? It looks, took you long enough, but I shouldn't have expected any better from you, human. I guess you did alright. Well, how, you have your reward anyway. 100G. Alright, don't want to get to your head. Now go. What? Hello, human. Hello, human. Do you pay attention to the way you dress? Because I'm a warrior, I only wear clothes. I have a good freedom of movement. If I wore too much, I wouldn't be able to move around as quickly. But even so, I would still be able to beat you, human. I guess that was supposed to be Jake's line. Whatever. It's fine. Sure, let's help out Jake again. I'm here about your request from the bulletin board. What are you doing here, human? What? Why aren't you at Blessy Island? Uh, what am I supposed to be doing there? You could bring me back a bronze bracelet, of course. Since you're so spineless, I thought I'd give you a chance to prove yourself. You should be thankful, human. Yeah. Um, well, what are you waiting for, human? Bring back a bronze bracelet. All right. No mincing words. Let's do this. Okay. Once again, I'm guessing it's just going to be on the pirate ship. The furthest place that you can go. Or the crashed... Crashed? Crashed ship. Whether it's a pirate ship or not. I always just look at, you know, these kind of boats and say, Oh, hey, it's a crashed pirate ship. And I'm like, oh, I mean, it's, it's not. But it's fine. Wait, I just realized we ran right past him. Alright. Go on over to Blessy Island and bring me back a bronze bracelet. Understand, human? Get on with it. You, you. Hate it here. Let's see if we can get it from Mayor Byron's house. <sighs> of course we can't. What's the freaking point? Attempt number two. You finally brought it back. You've got a lot left to learn. I could have done it half the time. Yeah, that's because, you know, you were you were dodging me. I hate it. But since you managed to make it back, I suppose I'll let you have your reward. 200G. Don't spend all one place, Slowpoke. Don't want to get to your head, human. Jerk. Total jerk face. Hmm. No, I will not get with it. Leave me alone. <laughs> so as far as I can tell, the bachelorettes can only do one per day, but the rest of the townsfolk, you can do all of their quests all in one day. Which is silly, but... Oh, whatever. Company for stargazing, a request from Cecilia. Come look at the stars with me. Considering she's right next to me? Heck yeah. A lot better than Jake from State Farm. Hi, Kyle. It's like, do you think maybe... What is this, Cecilia? Do you think maybe you'd come to Alverna Falling Star Path at 9 o'clock tonight? 9 o'clock tonight? Yeah, I have a bit of a strange request. Will you be there? Sure. Great, I'll see you at 9 then. Right. Be at Alvarna's Falling Star Path at 9 o'clock tonight, okay? I'll be waiting for you. Three and a half hours. Can we kill three and a half hours? Yes, yes we can. It's fishing time, ladies and gentlemen! This is pretty much what I planned for today, actually. <laughs> I... Huh, well I'm glad I didn't use that. I meant to use this. Good to know that it doesn't use that, though. A sardine. This is how you get sardines. Besides that, what else can we get at the port? A needlefish. And... 
another needlefish, which I'll throw away because I don't care. Another sardine. There should be other fish here, maybe? Possibly. Another needlefish. We only have two hours left. Always needlefish. Just needlefish, just, just needlefish. Okay, we have somewhere to be. Oh. Hi there, Cal. We need help, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I will. Oh, there you are, Kyle. Thank you for coming. Is there anything special about this place? According to Alicia's reading, we may be able to see a shooting star here tonight. A shooting star? Yeah, normally you can only see them during the shooting star festival, but today's special. That's pretty neat. I've always wanted to see a shooting star with you, Kyle. You say something? Oh, no, just uh, talking to myself. It should turn up any minute now. Oh, there it was. There, did you see it? Yeah, wow. That was great. Yeah, it really, really was. It was really, really something. Alicia's reading was spot on. Crazy, huh? I'm glad we came. Yeah, thanks for coming out with me tonight. My pleasure. I should be getting home now. Well, see you tomorrow. Yeah, have a good night, Cecile. Yeah, what? Was that her? Did I misread the name, or did it mess it up again? I don't know. Yeah, have a good night, Cecilia. A cute little scene. And a pretty eventful day. I've actually been recording at this point for an hour and 18 minutes now. There were minor interruptions here and there, but nothing to add that much time. This is a long one. <laughs> I figure I'm just going to fish at the port. I'll meet you guys at the end of the day, assuming that nothing else interesting happens. So many needlefish! Sardine. Sure, I'll keep that. Hi, a shrimp. Leather boots. Sturdy, long-lasting boots made from leather. Loved by travelers everywhere. Enables backstep ability. Pickles. Cucumbered pickles for a short period. Cucumbers pickled. Whatever. Uh, very popular to munch on. Sardine. A relatively easy fish to catch. Swim in, breath swim in breathtaking and perfectly coordinated schools. Fire crystal. A crystal in the shape of flames. Feels warm to the touch. Shrimp. A type of crustacean encased in a hard shell. Trivia. It has 13 pairs of legs. Water crystal. A fragile crystal in the shape of a water droplet. Handle with care. Those are the six items that I'm putting in here. Alright. Guys, next time, let's play Rune Factor 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. We don't have that many more quests left to do for a lot of the random townsfolk. We still have quite a few of the romantic ones to do, but that's because everyone, I believe... Every one of the bachelorettes, I think, has like 11 or somewhere around 11 quests. So people like Alicia are still pretty far off. <laughs> all right. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Oh, and I figure I should mention one thing. Uh, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, we're actually going to be on a birthday. Uh, I'm going to check just to be sure that I am correct about whose it is. Yes. It is technically already, I have it written down wrong, oops. Uh, I have it written down as Brian? It's, I'm pretty sure it's Mayor Byron. I need to fix that. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that off the screen. <laughs> oops. <laughs> All right.
See you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye. <laughs>